Again, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome here to the launch pad, or maybe good morning or good evening, depending where you're joining us from. You're looking at a live view of Blue Shift Aerospace's test facility where they are getting ready to test their Maravel green fuel powered hybrid engine, which is a proprietary, non toxic, bio derived solid fuel engine that will power their Starless Rogue rocket, which will take uh, the launch vehicle up into suborbital space, providing six to eight minutes in zero gravity. We went live just not too long ago to bring coverage of the test uh, and unfortunately Blue Shift dropped their footage and the moment we ended cutting our stream we got them back so we are back here for take two at today's Maravel 2.0 static fire test uh, the test is imminent uh, so we will uh, we're waiting for more updates from their team on what that means uh, for them but a really great company uh, here at the launch pad it is our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together so we like to shine lights on obviously the big aerospace companies but also the little ones as everyone has to start off somewhere and we're really excited to see what blue shift aerospace is able to create with this new type of technology using bio derived fuels uh, to help uh, open up uh, suborbital space and even low earth orbit that they aim to do with their uh, next rocket uh, that they will be launching targeting 2024 for the premiere of their red dwarf low earth orbit launch vehicle but with this engine starless rogue should take to the sky sometime early next year uh, for its maiden flight offering low launch accelerations and a no spin stabilization makes starless rogue an ideal vehicle for research and science payloads needing exposure to space for short periods of time but not necessarily needing to be fully into orbit as always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad and we'll work on answering those to the best of our ability. Uh, we do know that the test is imminent, so we're keeping an eye on that uh, and we uh, hope to have a good view there. Thanks so much for that super chat. I appreciate it, Tanya. Thanks for your continued uh, support. Uh, we're good. We're excited to see uh, Blue Shift Aerospace jumping into their next generation rocket. We've been following them since January 2021, where they launched for the first time their Stardust rocket, which was a test bed launch vehicle, uh, just proving some of their ideas and experiments uh, before leading into this next generation with their Starless Rogue launch vehicle. So we're excited to see it out on the pad. Rocket launches, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Virginia, good to see you as well. Thanks for jumping on. If it's your first time here, let us know in the chat. Appreciate you guys jumping on and uh, joining us for the surprise static fire test uh, coverage here today. Uh, you're looking at a live view of the Blue Shift Aerospace test facility in Maine in the United States uh, at a retired uh, military facility uh, that they have taken over a little section of uh, for their operations.
If you're just joining us, though, welcome. You're looking at a live view of the Blue Shift Aerospace Mar uh, test facility where they have their full-scale Maravel engine on the test stand preparing for a static fire test here today. Should today's test go well, we're expecting to see the novel hybrid rocket engine that burns a non-toxic carbon-neutral bio-drive solid fuel burn for uh, up to five seconds. They're targeting a full power five second burn. And if this goes well, this will set them up for a number of future tests where they will move all the way up to full duration burns of about 90 seconds. Following these static fire tests, the Maravel 2.0 engine will power their Starless Rover launch vehicle for its first suborbital flight in early 2023. And we do hope to be on the ground uh, to bring you full coverage of that as we see a new small launch vehicle be brought online. Blue Shift Aerospace is testing this as their first full-scale modular adaptable rocket engine uh, for their vehicle, Maravel 2.0. Thanks so much, Daniel. Appreciate that support. Greatly appreciate it. Don't have to do that, but appreciate you helping us bring the best possible coverage of everything space. If you guys like space, a couple ways you can follow along with everything that happens. Make sure you follow us over on Twitter as we do live tweet updates uh, when we are not live. And join us over on our Discord. We're in there pretty much all day, every day, uh, talking about space and just hanging out as a community. But if you ever have questions, it's a great place to drop them in there as well. Now, they are in the middle of Maine in an old military facility, so the internet connection's not the best. Uh, They're definitely getting better at it, so we are seeing that drop out. But the test at this point is saying that it is imminent. We're waiting for some updates from Blue Shift on uh, what that exactly means. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll see this test occur here uh, very shortly. If you guys have questions, make sure you send those in the chat. Take us at the launch pad, and we'll answer those uh, to the best that we can as we count down towards this static fire test of the Maravel 2.0 engine. All right, if you're uh, just joining us, this is a Blue Shift Aerospace live stream of a static fire test of our full-scale modular adaptable rocket engine for vehicle launch or Marvel. Uh, obviously, we've had uh, a couple of technical difficulties with the network, with the stream. Coming up and down, going down. Uh, it appears to have stabilized for the time. Time being. Apologies for uh, for my absence. I was assisting in the uh, in the troubleshooting, but the. Uh, The most critical part is go. The uh, the engine is go. So we're going to test here in uh, probably about two minutes.
And if you're just joining us, we did hear an update there from the Blue Shift Aerospace team. Uh, the engine is go for the static fire test. We are t they are targeting about two minutes uh, until that test uh, commences here. So we're uh, eagerly waiting to see how it goes of their full-scale static fire test of the Maribel engine. Targeting a full five-second burn. Now keep in mind the, the network connections you're seeing there on the stream. That, that's coming from their side. That's not from us. So, but we're going to stay live and bring updates as we can. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're, in, they're a new aerospace company. They're getting off the ground. Uh, the first thing they need to focus on is their rocket, not the live streams. So uh, we're glad that uh, they are innovating and creating this new rocket. And we're excited to be able to bring you guys coverage of it. Uh, great question from Virginia. Um, what type of rocket this is? It is a hybrid rocket engine that uses a revolutionary non-toxic biofuel that's carbon free and there'll be just one of these engines on their starless rogue rocket uh targeting their first test in next year but uh, we should be coming down just less than a minute and uh, if we get to a point this where this, where this lag comes back or anything like that uh, we will of course release a full resolution video of the test just so, as soon as we can good point from them this is just the stream part the they are in the middle of a, a, a open facility open air area not the best coverage but they are recording everything hard to the ground so they have a full coverage of all these videos uh without the lag there so uh if we see that we'll make sure to tweet that out as well make sure you followed uh blue shift aerospace on twitter and their youtube uh, to follow along with their updates uh, really great team working on this engine and excited to see this status fire test here uh, they've been op in operation a couple of years. They had their first uh, rocket launch uh, with their Stardust rocket in January of 2020, uh, of sorry, 2021. Uh, and they're targeting low Earth orbit with their Red Dwarf rocket in 2024. But this will be for their Starless Rogue rocket uh, for suborbital in 2023. They just completed a large uh, funding campaign uh, with private investors and public investors. Uh, through kind of like a crowdfunding thing. So we're excited to see, uh, you know, a new kind of model on how to bring a new engine to the market. Right now their plans are, I believe, to stay in... Um, the main area they've got good support from their local region uh but uh, maybe they'll expand in the future there uh daniel we'll we'll have to wait and see we should be coming down to when that test was uh expected to uh take place here pretty much imminently right now uh they were targeting about two minutes but they are working on that internet connection if for any reason it does drop out, then we'll we'll wrap up for today as well, uh, and then we will bring you guys the full resolution video over on Twitter once they do release that, um, just in case that signal does fully drop out like it seems to have now. Um, but that is okay. They they are innovating rockets, not live stream technology. Um, so we uh, wish them well on a good test here. Uh, that test expected to be taking place pretty much any moment. And like we thought, there goes the stream uh, cutting out again with the internet. So we're going to call it a wraps here. Join us over on our Discord. We're going to be keeping an eye out for them uh, uploading the full-scale uh, video um, of their test. Uh, but uh, just the internet not cooperating uh, there today. Uh, but uh, we're still wishing them hopefully good luck on their test. Everything else for the rocket was ready to go. But just the internet were not working out today. Uh, but here at the Launchpad, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And this is going to wrap up our take two of the coverage of today's Blue Shift Aerospace 
uh, Maravel 2.0 static fire test attempt. Uh, stay tuned over on our Twitter to see the video when they release the full quality one and go blue shift aerospace. But for now, this is Zach from TLP Network Studios signing off. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.